Hello everyone, welcome back to my page. I'm Avantika Kambi and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rock paper scissors game. Now I'm sure all of you guys know how this works. If you don't, basically you put your hand in front of the sensor, you do either rock paper or scissors and then the components will respond again with rock paper or scissors. I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. Alright guys, so for the connections of the ultrasonic sensor, what you want to do is take the VCC pin and connect it to the positive of the breadboard and take the ground of the ultrasonic sensor and connect it to the negative of breadboard. Let's do that. Then take the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor and connect it to pin number 11 of Arduino board. Also take the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor and connect it to pin number 10 of Arduino board. All done with the connections of the ultrasonic sensor, now we move on to the buzzer. The positive terminal goes to pin number 12 of Arduino board while the negative one goes to the negative of breadboard. For the connections of the servo motor, what you want to do is take the VCC of each servo motor and connect it to the positive of breadboard while the ground of all the servo motors will go to the negative of breadboard. Let's do that. Then connect the signal pins of one servo motor to pin number 3, the second servo motors to pin number 6 and the third servo motors to pin number 9. After you are done with that, you want to take two wires Connect one end of one wire to the positive of breadboard and connect the other end of it to the VCC of Arduino board. Then take another wire and connect one terminal of it to the negative of breadboard and connect the other terminal of the wire to the G and D of the Arduino board. Let's do that. Alright guys, we are all done with the connections and I am super duper excited to see if this works. After you're done with the connections, you can take cutouts from rock, paper, scissors. I drew these myself and then stick it on the servo motors. Let's code it. Alright guys, so I just finished coding it and I am so excited to see if this works. I have already connected the battery and now it is time for me to put my hand ahead of this sensor. Okay, oh, it's already working. 3, 2, 1. I won. Die. I won again. Oh no, I lost. Okay, I won. This is super duper cool and suppose whenever you're bored or like you don't have anything to do, this is the perfect thing to play with if you know you have any free time. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss any of my videos. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and share this video with all your other friends so that they don't miss this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye!